Gregory Bateson used to say, it takes two to know one. And Margaret Mead, you know, who I also uh, was honored to take classes with at, when I was at Columbia, she used to say, to know many, you have to know many, you know, and at the same time, know that you know, small little pieces like you and I right now talking are really rippling into that, out, that world out there. That, that kind of concept. So leap of faith, you know, so sort of looking at things in cause and effect, you're, you're looking at the whole being more than the sum of the parts. You know, when I was young growing up in Patterson, New Jersey, you know, teacher after teacher told me that, you know, the whole is equal to the sum of the parts. It's not true. That, that brings us into problems. You know, I wrote about this just recently, and I use this as an example because that's happened many times. I had a family with uh, three adult children and, and the, the parents, and they, when they came in, they were just all arguing. They were just all throwing, they were like yelling at each other. And um, I had just gone to the local Italian bakery. I love, unfortunately, you know, this wonderful Italian bread that's probably, you know, increasing my cholesterol, but I'm not going to go there. And um, I, I just stopped and I took the bread out and I threw it on the floor and they all stopped. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to ask each one of you to give me five perspectives on that Italian bread. And this is a big, I said, it's a big uh, sacrifice for me to, to do this. And so I got 25 different perspectives. They couldn't repeat anything, you know, peanut butter and whatever, dipping it in sauce. And they started laughing. And then they started saying, I never knew that. Now they've known each other all their lives. And all of a sudden they started talking about, well, how could we work together with our differences rather than compete? So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it is interesting that that whole sense of relationship because we're really not, the nature really isn't any opposites. It all comes together. You know, there's a yin and yang of what, you know, what's out there. So families will, and by the way, what I learned uh, in anthropology and, and actually uh, my mentor, there was uh, Paul Byers, who was a wonderful anthropologist. He used to be the photographer for, for Margaret Mead and an anthropologist in his own right. And um, he would uh, you know, hook us up and hook different people up with biofeedback. And his port, his claim to fame, which is amazing is that when you're communicating, you phase lock, you're actually harmonizing. You have good vibrations when you're really communicating, like a jazz quartet. Mm -hmm.